Guys, oh, hi guys, it's Shrey and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reacting to episode 4 of Bloodhounds. I'm a little bit nervous because of where we left off in the third episode but I'm still excited. Before we do get into it however, I just want to say a quick a massive thank you to all my amazing patrons and channel members. If you're interested in joining either of those for early access and uncut reactions, the links will all be in the description below along with my social media and my peer box. And if you want to subscribe that's always greatly appreciated. But now without further ado, let's get into today's video. Oh goodness. I'm assuming the boss is um Mr. Choi. Mm-hmm. Ah suddenly you're not as brave anymore, are you? Yeah, see, that's what I was afraid of. At least it makes sense that they would come with weapons, even though I absolutely hate it at the same time. The problem is as well, they're not trained in fighting with weapons, so... Sounded painful. Oh, he would he would know how to fight with a weapon though. They're actually not doing that bad. <laughs> He's like, you're not getting to my boy. <laughs> Why is this so, like, the fight choreography is so good that I almost find it amusing, even though it's like really high stakes right now. Okay, but I need to breathe because I'm really worried about the mother. Um... He should, he should not have taken off his mask. Ah! Just protect your head at the very least. Oh, okay, I'm... I'm weirdly happy to see her, even though I know <laughs> that um, her grandfather is not going to be happy about this. I mean, she did say she had some form of uh, fight training. I can't remember what it was, but it makes sense that she would be able to hold her own. Whoa, she's really quick. Oh, you just took out your own person, damn. Okay, and you don't stay and fight, you run. Let's go. Please, please, no. Okay, this bit, this bit. Ah. We're five minutes in. This is gonna be a rough one. Okay, so because I'm absolutely terrified, I made myself some tea uh, to, to get me through this. And just to like calm down for a second, because I just realized there's a very real possibility that she might die now because if she doesn't die now and i don't want her to die i'm just thinking in terms of plot 
the villains are always going to have something to hold over him. Which is terrifying in the long run. If they accidentally kill her right now, they're going to feel his like rage and revenge and like need to, to take them out. While also accidentally eliminating the only thing that could have potentially kept him away from them. And I think they're arrogant enough to make that mistake. I really hope I'm wrong though, I don't want her to die. Oh no, it's worse than I thought. They're gonna kidnap her. That, oh my goodness. It's terrifying how easy they're making it look. I, I don't know if he's a, a, the person I'm thinking of, like the, if he's working for the uncle, uh, the p grandfather, or if he's working for... Or if he's working for even a worse person. Mm, that's quite painful. I don't think he's necessarily working for the grandfather because otherwise he would be a bit more like quick about it. And the, the only good thing is the fact that he's carrying an entire person. No, don't leave her. He, night throw. Can you do a night throw? Is that a possibility? <laughs> okay, but what about the woman? Like, what about his mother? What if they come back and take her in any case? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Ah, ah. I heard that. That was, ooh, that sounded very painful and like he is going to be temporarily out of commission, if not something worse. He's really not in the mood. My question still stands, is she okay? Yeah, that's what happens when you're like fighting the kind of fight you guys f fought. Whoa, that was just a bunch of nonsense words, sorry about that. Luckily she's safe. You guys can count yourself very lucky that he kind of like was thinking two steps ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not in a in a good mood right now, and I can't blame him. <laughs> I think that it's sad because she needed to see that this was part of a much bigger thing that she couldn't comprehend before she would feel the need to stop. Because, like, I understand, unfortunately, where she's coming from. Like, how would you know, know how big of a domino effect it would have until you were faced with the reality of it? I'm so scared for him because we we saw that final shot of him lying in bed looking at his wife or girlfriend and feeling like he's about to say goodbye to her.
범위한테 한 시간이 사무실로 오라고 그래. 케이스 맞아. 아, <laughs> oh, I don't like his arrogance at all. I mean, to be fair, it's probably better to have him as backup and not indirect. Line of fire. Well, that isn't an understatement. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so frustrating that they're so familiar with. His, the inner workings of his company because then it's such an open fight that it feels as if Mr. Choi's group stands no chance because he like obviously he's willing to play more dirty and also he has a bigger amount of muscle to utilize. <laughs> Uh. Oh, I didn't need that visual. Damn. Oh, yeesh. Hmm. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Mom, what, what is the point of a mask if you're gonna do that? Shame, but you can see he so badly doesn't want to go back to that life. Yeah, you guys really need to get some manpower. But the problem is, I think they don't like. Mr. Choi seems very big on hiring people he can trust, and they don't have the time to vet people that he knows he will be able to trust. So they can't beef up on manpower. Oh, that looks beautiful. Where are they? I hope they're not still at his house. Aww. I love it. You can see, like, oh my. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. You can see that, like, she's really enjoying having someone take care of it in that way. It's so nice to have them actually being the ones looking down on the bad guys for a change instead of the other way around. I so badly want Mr. Choi's side to figure out them like doing the eagle eye thing. You know, the backup that, they, that just keeps watch unless they see trouble coming and then they come down and deliver the fatal blow, that kind of thing. They really need to get a different car. Hmm. 
Why am I just waiting for it to go wrong? Cause, cause that's a story. That's why. It's a drama, as someone pointed out. I had so hoped that maybe someone would anticipate them being tailed and would take care of that man. That seems way too important. The fact that they focused in on that. Is that the big guy? Yeah, that's the big guy. Great. No, 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 no. Oh, this feels so predictable. This feels way too predictable. It's so frustrating. Like, it feels predictable in the sense of, like, I wish they would have anticipated this possibility. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but that was so unexpected. The only issue is, he, I'm, I can't believe I'm saying this, but he needs to die. Like, he needs to die for this, for, the, for this to stop, basically. And they're not going to be the ones to kill him. They don't have it in them, and I'm, I'm happy to say that, but also it poses a problem. No time. That's so weird though, the, the fact that the door is open, the money is right there, why bother yourself with the girl? Ransom? Every single second, I think I can't love her more. She proves me wrong. You should have just hidden in the... Um, bookshop. <laughs> that was so satisfying. I don't think it's gonna last, but that was indeed very satisfying. Whoa, that was so good! That was so cool! Don't stop hitting him. Oh my word. Is that a axe? That, that's probably the only thing that would take him down. Oh. This is terrifying. Ooh. That looks an awful lot like brain damage. But... He's not messing around. I think he's past the point of like, I need to keep this person alive. <sighs> the adrenaline is very high right now. I can feel my heart beating faster. <laughs> Oh, I'm shaking. Okay. He needs to be pulled out of the zone because as much as I kind of want him to take care of this person for good because uh, it needs to happen at some point, he won't be able to live with himself if he does. So, Woojin needs to pull him out of this. Oh, 
Okay? Go! This seems sloppy. Some something else is gonna go wrong. Mm. Cable ties work. He he's gonna break free of that in like two seconds. At least she knows. I love that he remembers the jackets. Let me guess, the dude's not there anymore. Yeah. Okay, but the money is probably gone. Can you guys stop being snarky? Interesting song. Oh, oh that visual. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, please, please witness the kind of man that you voluntarily work for that does not give one ounce of care about what happens to you as a person. Must be nice, just sitting there, having everyone else take care of your problems for you. <sighs> if I could skip, I would. I'm so terrified. That's way too much money. Why did he have so much money stored? <laughs> I never thought I would be angry about that. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I feel like they should go buy themselves like panic buttons. Focus. Um where they can just press it to know that things aren't like going the way they planned oh don't get sarcastic They could have left the safe, I feel. Oh. Okay, at least they're not attempting to climb out and fight, because that would have been a much worse plan. Okay. Oh, damn, she's not messing around. Makes sense. No, it's good, because then at least they can't box her in and, like, slam her against the side. She's doing so well.
Where are you guys gonna go though? Oh, this is so stressful. So good, but it's so freaking stressful. Oh my word, okay. Get in the car. Get in the car so they you can make a getaway. No. Although, yeah, fair enough. I'm pretty sure Mr. Choi would be like, yeah, your safety is more important than the money. <laughs> Easier said than done. Oh. <sighs> I feel like every single time we get to an end of an episode, I'm going to be relieved to just have like a moment's breathe, a momentary breath before we go into the next episode. Oh, goodness. That was so stressful the entire way through, but it was so good. <laughs> One thing that I have to say I like really, really, really appreciate about this is the fact that even though you can see the, the mistakes that they make because they're still young and inexperienced, they're so smart and resourceful that you can tell it's just going to get better in the future, basically. It's so impressive how resourceful they've been, especially her. Like, she has been on top of it for the most part um, with, like, using the resources at her disposal to keep them alive. So it's just, damn, it's so good. Like, the way I would like to see this show end because i feel like unfortunately probably mr choi is not gonna survive by the end of this uh or like still be alive by the end of this is them like taking up his business and doing like honest loan sharking work for the rest of their lives while like saving people from ill-intentioned loan sharks basically it's a weird thought but yeah, that, that would be a very cool way to see this ending uh, and it's a way that I could see honestly like matching who they are as people um, and like their life goals and everything like that. So yeah, I just, I love that. that oh, this is such a good show and it's, I'm so terrified for the next episode, but I'm so keen. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it and otherwise I'll see you guys in the next one.